I call to order the organizational meeting. The time is six o'clock. Jeff Harris, Trustee Harris, would you please do the invocation? I'm sorry. Okay, Your Honor, thank you for this past year at the township, and thank you for providing a new year for us, and, uh, and uh, thank you for protecting us and giving our freedoms of speech, our freedoms to be in a country uh, that we can worship freely and do things freely. I pray that you be with those who protect us, protect those freedoms that we have, and that you come with them and be beside them and be beside their families and listen and they're out and doing their jobs. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please, Ms. Barry. Mr. Evans. Here. Mr. Johnson. Here. Ms. McKee. Here. The meeting will be turned over to Fiscal Officer Marion for an appointment of the President. Are there any nominations? Or would I let you go ahead and take it from here? I didn't get a chance to explain that to you, Julie. I'm sorry. Okay. You, want you to just me? ask for nominations for the President, and then they'll give you nominations. And then after the nominations are done, when you give a roll call, the trustee will say the last name for the one they're picked. And then after that, it goes back to whoever got picked as the chair. You want you want Laura to do it this time, or are you okay? To do it. Um, I'm just roll up it with Laura. Okay. Okay. <laughs> are there nominations for the board president? Okay. Mr. McKee for president. And I'll nominate uh, myself, uh, Trustee Evans, for president because we need to restore transparency and a uh, fair agenda. Um. Okay. I'll nominate. Myself, Rosalind McKee, as the president of the board. Then you just ask if there's any more. Is there any Are there any others? Uh, is it roll call then, or is it who? If there's no other nominations, then you're going to roll call. So you say Trustee Evans, and then Mark will say who he picks, Trustee Johnson, and then so forth. Mr. Evans? Evans. Mr. Johnson? Ms. McKee. Ms. McKee. Ms. McKee. Myself. And then Rosalind will take the meeting back. Okay. Just to hand you the gavel. Oh, yeah. Mr. Johnson, we can't hear you at all. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I forgot to turn on my mic. Thank you. All right, okay, so we're now open. So you already did that. So we're going to move on to uh, zero nomination for vice president. I would like to nominate Mr. Johnson, Jeff Johnson. Vice President. And I would like to nominate myself, Trustee Evans, for Vice President, again, to attempt to restore the transparency and proper administration of this township. And then, Rosalind, they'll do the same thing for all of these, like before we discuss, again, is there any more nominations? And when you're done, then you have the whole call. Well, wait, you didn't do this yet, Mr. Evans. You don't all. You don't no, all. Oh, okay. Okay. So you ask if there's more nominations. Yeah. Okay, is there any more nominations? Yeah. Okay, so we'll move on. Now you have to have her roll call. So you need to roll call? Yep. All right, Mr. Mr. Evans. Evans. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Um, no, yeah. you're voting. We're right? voting. Oh, yeah. You have to say your name. You have, a, you have to say what, who you're voting, voting for. Itself. Yeah, the now it'll be Rosalind McKee. Rosalind? Um, I'm nominating Mr. Johnson. You're Jeff Johnson. Johnson. You're voting on it. Jeff, I'm voting for Jeff Johnson. For that, Mr. Jeff, the Vice President. So now you're going to do the same thing we just did for Red Supervisor all the way down. I would like to nominate a road supervisor, um, Mr. Jeff Johnson. <laughs> 
I would like to nominate myself, Trustee Evans, for road supervisor to continue the proper oversight of the road department. Any more nominations? Mr. Evans. Evans. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Ms. McKee. Mr. Johnson. Okay. I would like to move on to the township secretary supervisor. I would like to um, nominate Mr. Johnson for the township secretary supervisor. Is there a because I think we need to change, I nominate myself, Trustee Evans, because there's not been proper oversight of that office under the prior <coughs> supervisor. Is there any other nominations? Evans. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. I would like to nominate um, Mr. Johnson for the township zoning supervisor. Again, I would nom nominate myself, Trustee Evans, to restore the proper administration of the zoning office and oversight of the zoning inspector that has been lacking since the prior supervisors. Is there any other nominations? Mr. Evans. Evans. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Ms. McKee. Mr. Johnson. I would like to nominate Mr. Johnson for the safety and the FEMA officer. Is there any other nominations? For the sake of change, I believe that uh, I would nominate myself, Mr. Evans, for proper administration of this because we are lacking. We do not have a disaster plan or any other things required. Any other nominations? Mr. Evans. Evans. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Ms. McGee. Mr. Johnson. I would like to nominate Mr. Johnson. I'm sorry. I'm someone under FEMA. Sorry about that. I would like to nominate myself for Parks and Recreation and Director. Again, okay. Go ahead. If you're gonna call for nominations. Any other nominations? Yes, again, due to the improper administration of the prior department, lack of transparency, <coughs> um, I would nominate uh, myself, Trustee Evans, to restore uh, integrity to that department. Evans. Evans. Mr. Johnson. Ms. McKee. Ms. McKee. Um, myself, Ms. McKee. I would like to nominate myself, Ms. McKee, for the cemetery director. Is there any other nominations? Yes, again, I'll nominate myself, Trustee Evans, to again restore the integrity of the department, provide transparency and uh, operate it properly uh, as opposed to the previous uh, director. Is there any other? Mr. Evans. Evans. Mr. Johnson. Ms. McKee. Ms. McKee. Ms. McKee. I would like to nominate myself, Ms. McKee, for the community communications and public relations officer. Is there another nomination? Yes, for myself, Trustee Evans, because that department should have transparency 
in communicating what's going on with the township and it is apparent that there is a lack of transparency through Ms. McKee's leadership in all the departments. <coughs> The nomination. Mr. Evans. Evans. Mr. Johnson. Ms. McKee. Ms. McKee. Ms. McKee. Myself. Thank you. I would like to nominate Mr. Johnson for the West Leaking Fire District Board representative. Is there a nomination? Is there any more nomination? Yes, I'll nominate myself, Trustee Evans, because I think for the $24,304 that I should have some responsibility in this township, especially being the number one vote getter in the last election and charged with providing proper administration of this township. Mr. Evans. Evans. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Ms. McKee. Mr. Johnson. I would like to nominate myself for the rep, Ms. McKee, for representative for the Morphsy Board. Is there other nomination? Yes, again, I wish there were better uh, alternatives, but I will nominate myself as uh, uh, to the Morphsy Board uh, because there has been zero update, zero uh, transparency from Ms. McKee uh, in her last year's position in this and we need proper administration in this township and uh, I, I think I should have some role in this township. Mr. Evans. Evans. Mr. Johnson. Ms. McKee. Ms. McKee. Ms. McKee, myself. I would like to nominate a representative myself, um, for a, myself as a representative on the Patasco Area Chamber of Commerce Economic Development Committee. Is there another nomination? Yes, again, I'll nominate myself, Trustee Evans, um, because I, I've held this position and we were supposed to do it on a joint uh, matter and I did not see Ms. McKee at one meeting. Um, so I believe again for transparency, for actually working towards uh, some accomplishment in this township that uh, I should be the representative. And I, I would just like to say, uh, you know, it seems like this is predetermined and you just want to exclude me from everything. I was hoping we could start afresh this year, but apparently we're not. Evans. Mr. Johnson. Ms. McKee. Ms. McKee. I nominate myself, Ms. McKee. I would like to nominate Mr. Johnson as trustee to approve Township Community Center request. Is there another nomination? Yes, I would like to nominate myself because there's been issues with the prior oversight of Mr. Johnson regarding the community uh, requests, uh, denying duly um, worthy uh, organizations to use this, uh, and it, it took quite a fight to get them to use it. Uh, so I, I would uh, provide proper oversight and uh, approval of the request. Mr. Evans. Evans. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Ms. McKee. Mr. Johnson. I would like to nominate Mr. Johnson as the liaison trustee to the Board of Zoning Appeals. Is there another nomination? Yes, I will nominate myself, Trustee Evans, for this position because, again, we need proper oversight and I had overheard that Mr. Johnson had encouraged them to not meet. So uh, we, we need to move forward. Mr. Evans. Evans. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Ms. McKee. Mr. Johnson. 
I would like to nominate Mr. Johnson as a liaison trustee to the Zoning Commission. Is there a nomination? Another nomination? Yes, I'll nominate myself, Trustee Evans, and I'd like to say the only reason I'm nominating myself so much is because I have no other option. And I'm not looking at to control everything like one trustee is. Mr. Evans. Evans. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Ms. McKee. Uh, Mr. Johnson. I move to adopt the organizational motion items A through Z, A through G, as presented on the agenda with Jeff Johnson as a township representative for the health consortium. Is there a second? I, point of order, does it have to be unanimous to do a con consent like that? Yes. Because I believe we should discuss individual items since they have changed from the we, prior years. Well, wait a minute. We did it this way last year for you. So we're doing it the same way. I did not. Yes. Mr. Johnson Yes, did we it. did. Mr. We're going to move on. Is there a second? This is A through G, correct? Yes, sir. Second. Discussion? Uh, again, these items should be individually addressed. Uh, do you have a, your A for the motion of Robert's rules? It should state the most current addition. Uh, and I would suggest that we do the small board rules. Uh, the motion to, uh, for the expenses. I believe these changes are not in the benefit of the township. Uh, to require our road superintendent to get approval for every purchase, every oil check, oil filter, every valve, everything it is not conducive to a properly functioning organization. Um, there is no limit on the secretary's authorization. I, th I think that's lacking. Um, so. There are issues that, that need to be addressed, and I, I would move to amend uh, motion or uh, item A to include the most version, uh, most current version of Robert's rules, uh, newly revised for small boards, and modify section E, uh, giving removing the approval needed by the super, trustee supervisor for Mr. Copley and increasing that limit to $3,000 because reviewing the past expenditures, they've been close or a little bit over. Um, so that, that's needed there and increase, uh, add <coughs> to other necessary expenses uh, because trying to limit everybody to post office supplies and postal expenses is not conducive to the proper functioning of this township. Um, I just want to make a statement under my discussion, and he mentioned the Roberts Rule. I think he's the one that rejected us taking the training that's coming up here on the 10th of January. He voted against the training. So I don't know why he's concerned about the Roberts Rule. We're trying to get somebody here to train us. So I'm, I'm very surprised that Mr. Abitou would even be concerned with that one. But again, here we are. So. And I don't believe, Mr. Evans, your statement is true. It says Don Copley is spending allowance of $2,500 for purchases between meetings with the approval of his trustee appointed supervisor, which means they don't have to go for every little thing it gives him. I can give him latitude for that. That all changes are approved. Different things are approved, and if we can work on that, it keeps communication between myself and, the, and uh, Mr. Copley. I think that's a good move. I, I believe it, it's treating our superintendents. Well, wait, you already had your time, right? I mean, do, do we not want open discussion about the administration of this well, township and support of our, our we, ways? Or do I do open session? That's fine. I was waiting for my turn, but that's fine if you want to go that way. I'm all right with that. And we've got 10 minutes to okay. discuss. Three minutes. No, 10. No, we haven't adopted three minutes. We haven't adopted three minutes. Three minutes. Go ahead. It's three 10 minutes. for Robert's rules. It's three minutes. That's what I adopted in the meeting in the group, three minutes. For organization. For organization. Yeah. 
we just adopted Robert. Go ahead. Yeah. It's, you're, you're, that's why no. you go to the training. But we you need go to the training on the tenth. You will learn something about it. Somebody who knows has done it. Please. No, please. Again, I was hoping that we could get off to a good start and actually focus on this township. But apparently, we're not. Uh, yeah, I think this we're not. this all seems predetermined. Um, I would like to officially records request your list that were pre-filled out uh, with all the nominations. Um, and um, again, we need to support our road department and this micromanaging. And it's even your purchases on the credit card were, were not for just uh, were not just for uh, postage and that. So, so there's my there's my list, Mark. So don't. Don't request me for that. You got it. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you don't, if you don't want a limit on Miss Brown, so Miss Brown doesn't have a limit on expenditures because it doesn't state one here. It states one for everybody else. No, it says five hundred per month for office supplies and pistol expenses. And that's all she needs for trustees and officers, but then I don't have a credit card, so I have to fall under Jeff, so I can't go over 500. And it has to be pre approved by Jeff because I don't have a credit card, Mr. Mr. Copley has a credit card. I would just like to point out that Mr. Copley needs pre approval or needs approval and what approval of her. So you're going to just give blanket approval. Okay. That's fine. I mean, Mr. Copley is our supervisor, our record supervisor. He's, I think we should give him responsibility for that. That's a reasonable amount, I believe. Correct. And he doesn't need approval for each item. So I believe right. Mark made a motion to so we so you need to you need to verify that you have a second. Yeah, we need to have a second. So I'm just never second. Call for a second. Is there a second? <coughs> so I Miss Barron, can you please do roll call? Mr. Evans? No. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Miss Mackey? Yes. I move. Mean, to adopt the organization motion item H through L as presented on the agenda with your board members giving receiving $55 and the chairperson $80 as meeting along with a $55 plus mileage to attend necessary training. Is there a second? Second. Discussion? We're not going to increase these amounts. These are the amounts that were the same for last year. I don't see why we should. I mean, it's up to you. I don't. I don't. I didn't. Did we increase these last year? We did. Last year, yeah. yeah. Five, so we can increase them every year. I mean, let's see. You guys vote for it. And then I did have a question of, and I'm not sure how this would affect the employees or that. Not. I do know. Item I for uh, get paid on Wednesday following end of the pay period that is very tight for processing. Julie, are you still comfortable with Wednesday or would it be a benefit on Thursday? Thursday would be beneficial. I don't know if we want to discuss that. I know it'll delay one time uh, the payment to employees, but <coughs> trying to get a process sometime with questions, and I, I guess I don't have to deal with it anymore, but that, that can't be an issue. Why? I mean, I guess always paid on Wednesday for as long as I can remember because our usually had meetings Tuesdays, and those are the days we signed checks, and then they got paid on Wednesday. Makes sense. That's how. That's the reason they were paid on Wednesday. R right. I mean, normally you get paid on Friday, but right. But uh, that is one of the 
duties of her fiscal officer and with everything else that she's doing without really much support at all, um, I, I think it would give her a little, little, little flexibility uh, for a day. I mean, typically organizations that I've always dealt with, the pay period ends Friday, you get paid next Friday. So you're getting paid, paid earlier. So anyway, that's but the, but the, the, the meetings were generally on Tuesdays and paper fell on Tuesdays. So we try and sign the checks on Tuesdays. Another, so they can be available for Wednesday payment. Another ACH though, and that requires another day prior. ACH, of, that's direct automatic deposits. direct deposits. Yeah. So, so she's got to get it in. Which day do you have to put it in? This is Monday. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, that, that would be, I mean, I can consider that as a change. That took to a bind on you. But the reason we did is because we had checks to sign on Tuesday, excuse me. So that, I mean, I don't think we can move back to Thursday. I don't know how that affects our but employees. But I, I, would, I would suggest talking to them first and seeing how it affects, because some might have things set up or, you know, I, I, I mean, again, I don't know one day if that's going to matter, but anyway, right. I think it would help our fiscal officer quite a bit. Let's leave it this way on here be my suggestion, and then we can bring up the topic. On another meeting to switch it that way that we use our employees we can, we can converse with our employees and see what he best for julie can that's going to affect them okay so we're just in a discussion okay to order the Board of Trustee regular meeting for January 3rd, 2023, and the time is 626, or 27, sorry. Roll call. Mr. Evans. Here. Mr. Johnson. Here. Ms. McKee. Here. I move to adopt the agenda. Is there a second? Second. Discussion. Yeah, I move to add to new business uh, the 629 uh, grant extension required and approval for filing the annual reports. And also under old business, because this has been requested numerous times, the uh, request of Treble, our energy aggregator, uh, to disclose the fees they've charged that they're contractually um, obligated to, which I have a suspicion that they've been charging higher fees and our residents are due a refund. And I'd just like to state that this 629 grant extension, if we do not address this, we will be on the hook for a million dollars. Is there a second? Die for lack of second. Oh. Roll call. Mr. Evans. No, there's still discussion. That, that was under my, so under discussion, I would like to point out this 629 grant, it, it expired at the end of December. I spoke to the office and they, I had asked, about a special meeting, I got no response. They extended it now, but they said they need this now. Otherwise, they are releasing the funds and we will have to pay back the developers the $1 million. So this is critical that we address this tonight. Which developer is it? It's Schuster Way, okay. or the 629 grant. And again, a million dollars 
that we will be on the hook for. I've been working with uh, Essence Bond with the state of Ohio. I've been working with uh, Jay Parker uh, um, with the Lincoln County Planning Commission. Um, it, why not address this and, and be on the hook for a million dollars? This is an extension. Extension for another year, right? And she's for, for another year, they, they could do six months or a year. But can't we move forward on this? I'm all right with this. I don't understand. I don't Why did you second it? Because you threw a bunch of other stuff in it. You could amend it. And the only other thing I threw in was treble speeds. Why are you guys protecting treble? A million dollars. You'll make a you'll make a motion that we add this to the agenda under new business only. Six twenty nine funds as presented by you. You can motion anything. Why you wouldn't want to? Okay, I'll make get that motion. The trouble I'll make that motion too. Is no, I'm not doing that. I'll do this one though. I'll make a motion. We add this of the six twenty nine for Schuster Way under. New business. I second. Discussion. Did you talk to our legal team about this one this week? Or last week? Or this week? I, I could not this week because there's no authorization for our, our external legal fees. This is the same I'll extension. Ask you a question. Or, I'm, and, I'm answer, and I'm answering you. This is the same extension we got on the other 629 Global Way grant because the roads are not dedicated. They were supposed to be dedicated in the summer, then in September. Everything was delayed with this. And again, this is 629. We've got another one out. And. <clears throat> We need to file reports. When I came in, nobody said anything because we didn't have a master calendar that reports are due as $500 fine per month. I got those filed last year. We need to file it again this year. So I'm asking for authorization to submit this and file those re reports as needed. Well, this is just for the agenda at this point, right? Correct. And th these are items that I've emailed the board about, indicating a special meeting, and I was not given a special meeting. So luckily, they allowed the funds to go past the 31st, but this needs to be addressed. Is there a second? I, I second. second. Mr. Evans? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Ms. McKee? No. Now you have to roll call them at the email call for the agenda. Okay. As amended. Mr. Evans. Yes. Ms. Or Mr. Johnson. Yes. Ms. McKee. Call. Okay, so you're going to take on that, I guess, getting that done, Mark, even though I know that you talked to our attorneys and you said that we didn't have the point, funds. Point of order, we're not on this topic. Yeah, but no, we are still talking about the topic. Which is the vote's over. No, but I'm still going to discuss it. I've just discussed it. We are so going to take on. You're going to take on. That will be determined when we get to the agenda item. Okay. I move to set the limit to no more than one speech, three minute length, on the same question, on the same day for each trustee. Is there a second? Uh, a second. Discussion, this, Mr. Johnson. It's a special. It's four, three, fifteen Roberts rules. Correct. And we can adapt whatever we just choose to do as a board. Whenever you're done, Mr. Johnson. I'm, I'm against this because 
live, I have no problem with limiting to three minutes and we can expand it if, if needed. I mean, if items are shared prior to the meeting, which they haven't been, we can deal with things in three minutes and ex expeditiously. However, limiting it to one comment is everyone making statements and not having a discussion. I can't say something, Mr. Johnson can't reply, and I can't answer him then. It's, we, we, we need discussion in public. We, we, we've got to not determine, predetermine everything outside these meetings and have an actual discussion about the business of this township amongst one another. Because I want the best for the township, and that's how you get it with discussion, not statements. So I would move that to leave in the three minutes, but reduce or remove the uh, one speech and just limit time to three minutes. Is there a second? I guess it died for like a second. Roll call, Ms. Marion? Mr. Evans? No. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Ms. McKee? Yes. I move to approve the minutes from November 15, 2022 minutes. Is there a second? Second. Discussion, Mr. Johnson? No. Mr. Evans? Uh, yes, again, this, uh, these minutes uh, lack the reflection of the board business by not including the motions made per Robert's rules that we again adopted. Um, so the, the only reason uh, to not include those would be to provide a lack of transparency. It, it wouldn't take anything to put in all motions. So just like today's meeting, all the motions I've made, they're not gonna put in there. Uh, and and that, that people shouldn't need to go to the video to see the actual board business. So I, I would ask that if these are approved that the fiscal officer not certify them or include the actual motions in any addendum uh, as legally allowed. To make a motion or is that discussion? Discussion. Roll call, Ms. Mr. Evans? No. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Ms. McKee? Yes. We can move on over to the public comments, which are limited to three minutes per person. Please come up to the podium and state your name and your address for the record. And just point of order, I would ask Ms. McKee to speak in the microphone. It's hard to hear. Teresa Ogershaw, 484 Trail West. First topic, budget. You have no budget. Mark legally could not talk to an attorney because there's no money to pay him. Your secretaries are working without pay. Um, your consult is working without pay. When the federal government, any government entity does not have a budget, only um, essential workers have to come to work and they are not paid. Unless when they do the budget, they go back and say we're going to pay the people that work. Two, item, freedom of speech. The Bill of Rights guarantees us the freedom of speech. We fought a war for 246 years ago to guarantee that, and it's guaranteed through the Bill of Rights. Because someone doesn't agree with the leader of a committee, um, a group, they're forced off the group, taken off committees. Um, that, you are not allowed to dictate what people say or believe or think that makes creates a dictatorship we do not live in a dictatorship three security cameras need to be inside and outside 24 hours a day seven days a week 365 days a year 366 during the leap year um you notice the little pink uh, dots that are under some pictures when were those put up there who put them up there I'll tell you, I put them up there. Anyone, while you were in there busy, could have come in here and stolen something. Could have come in here and broke good equipment. Could have come in here and walked away with a computer. To not have the, the 
the cameras on 24 hours a day, it's like um, closing the gate after the horse got out. And you can say, well, I get my phone out. Well, that's also after the event and trying to backtrack. Oh, who was here? You know, it's like when people are coming or going, or like you're in a meeting before here for the, this, the doors are open, everyone's busy, things can get stolen. <clears throat> Most thefts in office occur during business hours. Judy Kathmeyer, 29 Roma Court. I'd like to address two issues this evening. The first is in defense of my reputation. I was informed after the December 20th meeting that I was accused of saying a very derogatory word about Ms. McKee on October 2nd. I'm sorry that it has taken two months for that lie to be addressed and that our sheriff has thought such ill of me that I would use such disparaging language. For the record, at that meeting, I did blurt out and call Mr. Johnson a wimp because it, would, it appeared that he was going to vote with Mr. Evans on the refugee road proposal when he got back in line and voted no. The second issue is about being removed from the CAC on December 20th. I am positively naive because when I saw that on Old Business, I actually thought that Mr. Johnson was going to give a report and I would know the goal of that committee. Under Old Business, it was apparent that I stole Mr. Johnson's thunder by being positively transparent, giving my description in citizen comments, and I was positively flabbergasted by Mr. Johnson's recap. My only regret about calling out Mr. Leonard's incompetence is not casting the net wide enough. Without belaboring these issues, I am positively euphoric that Mr. Johnson and Ms. McKee felt it necessary to try embarrassing me in the public forum. Everyone here should be on notice that this too can happen to you. Cheap shots are exactly that, cheap and these trustees displayed themselves to be who they really are. Mr. Evans was right that it should have been an executive session discussion, but then I'm glad they didn't pick on somebody who couldn't handle it. Gary Burkholder, 254 Trail East. I'm speaking tonight in support of uh, Judy Kaffmeyer. I serve on the Land Use Committee as well. And uh, your action, Mr. Johnson and Mrs. McKee, was unjustified. It was politically motivated, and it was uh, retribution. In fact, Mr. Johnson, you admitted that you were discriminating against Judy Kaffmeyer because you never wanted her on the committee in the first place. Judy Kathmeyer did nothing wrong at that meeting. I was there. She had the courage to express her concerns about the level of service that we were getting from a contractor who we're paying over $60,000 to. I myself raised concerns, not against the contractor, but the level of service that we were getting. Other members on that committee have also had concerns, have requested additional meetings, have requested that the survey go out earlier. And all of that fell on deaf ears. We're trying to ensure the quality. And the fact that, that you discriminate against people and take them off of the committees because they have the courage to speak the truth is despicable. You have compromised the integrity of that committee. And we already have people that don't attend now because they doubt that the product will ever get to the trustees and when it does, the trustees won't follow it. You yourself, Mr. Johnson, said that we followed the previous land use plan. We did not. My second is to speak in support of our fiscal officer, Julie Varian. She has worked tirelessly to clean up the mess that the previous fiscal officer left and also to keep us on the right side of the law. Ms. McKee, you need to quit browbeating and gaslighting our fiscal officer 
She is not subordinate to you. She is an independent official of this township. I've been to almost every meeting here except one or two, and she has always conducted herself professionally. She has tried to ask you questions. She has tried to ask our legal counsel questions for clarification to keep us on the right track. You like to preach to us about treating people respectfully. You have this ethical admonishment, but you really showed your true colors at the end of the meeting when you had to yell at her and disrespect her and wouldn't even let her ask a clarifying question to our legal counsel. And then you practically broke the, the gavel. Your actions speak louder than your words. And I hope that what you've uh, demonstrated again here tonight only reinforces our impression of both of you. Thank you. Ryan Davis, 8807 Watkins Road. Uh, what an end to the year 2022. It was amazing. Um, it's a shame the Newark Advocate article was a recap and not a specific article on that meeting. Uh, discussing a resident in open discussion versus an executive session, when I can probably count the number of meetings I've been to on one hand and have fingers left over how many executive sessions this board had, has had on anything because of the argument that discussion is not happening. The, I, can, I can actually help keep this agenda on one item. I think we should move, remove the, print, the ethical principles paragraph to make room for reports to be back on. I think since nothing has changed and the same people are in charge of the same departments that require reporting monthly, which I stood at this podium and asked politely to be included and start a new year getting back to reports, I don't think it's too much to ask. And we can still keep it on one page. So there I am, trying try to help. Now I see we've got an administrator on there. I know I discussed with the two newest trustees during their campaign about an administrator. I discussed with both trustees after the campaign about an administrator. One trustee informed me that the township does not need an administrator, and that is why we, the board voted for a consultant. What has changed? I hope during that discussion it is open, detailed, and clear what has changed and why the board president put that on tonight's agenda. And as an NCA board member, we still do not have reports from our consultant. Now, why, why should we hire an administrator to provide reports when we can't get reports from our consultant? The residents of Canal are probably underwater right now. I haven't went over and seen them, but I know my backyard's flooded and my waterway's booming right now. There's a lot of issues with drainage that have been brought up in several meetings by several different people. Do we care about our residents? As, as overzoning, we can talk about that to the public, about this issue that you're very well aware of because you were here previously. We need to address this. These residents don't deserve this. Um, before I left, my six-year-old uh, said, we asked where I was going. I said I was going to another meeting. And she said, oh, and I said, well, it's important that I go, and you'll understand later. And she said, have fun. I said, well, I don't know if I'll have fun, but maybe we can get something done. Here's to 2023 being just a little bit better, hopefully, than 2022. Okay, period. 
okay? The other thing I want to do is I want to say great job to Ross, great job to Jeff Johnson, I admire both of you, Laura, admire you too. You guys are admirable, standing in the gap for this township, okay? I really believe that's what's going on. Everything that I see, everything that I know, okay? The other thing is, Ross, I want to really commend you. I'm not, I'm getting a new security system or putting forth a proposal for that and taking it out of this area so that people cannot be spied on a hundred times a day, okay? That's documented. That's documented a hundred times a day that you were on there, Mark, a hundred times a day for four days. More than that, it's like 547 incidences or whatever. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to round it up and say 100 times a day. People do not need to be spied on for 100 times a day. So thank you, Ross, for not putting it in here. Now people can feel more confident, and they can feel that their conversations are held private the way they need to be. End of story. Happy New Year, everybody. And cheers to Edna Township with better decisions for the residents and small business. Thank you. Craig Zacker, 79 Trail East. I also want to thank Mr. Johnson, Ms. McGee, Ms. Brown, and Mr. Vance. You have been attacked by this man. You've been bullied by this man. You've been yelled at by this man. There's no way to work with this man. He talks about transparency. Where's your live streaming, sir? You were president for four months. You never got it done. Why? Because you're in control of this. Okay, and you edit the videos. We've seen it, and when you put it on YouTube, you're not transparent. It's all about you and your little members here. I was in that meeting when Judy attacked that gentleman. She was nasty and rude, and I'm glad she was removed. And I'm glad you're standing up to these people, because I'm a resident of 12 years. I know you've been here 35 years, over 20 years. We have financial reasons to make this place better, That's right. okay? And the fiscal officer, the last thing we need to do is put $100,000 on the system. If you can't do the job, ma'am, resign. Thank you. John Canard, 10785 Palmer Road. Um, how do you follow that? Good job. Um, I think one thing you guys probably should have done is um, you should have probably nominated uh, Mark for cemetery director. I don't think there'd be a lot of uh, back talk there. Or, you know, he'd have a lot of support. Next thing is, I don't understand. I'm trying. I come to these meetings to try to understand different views and opinions and, and make decisions. Maybe I'm making wrong ones, uh, but I can't understand how people can support someone that can will sneak back into the office and try to access other people's emails. I can't understand how somebody could support somebody that would do what he did with the security system. As the lady spoke, you know, how many times he was on there, how long he was on there. I know he probably can't afford cable at home, but, you know, that's something else. Um, but in the real world, somebody does that at work, in the real world, you would be fired, uh, you'd be suspended, or you'd have criminal charges uh, against you. But in the political world, it's okay. I don't quite get that. Everybody talks about the physical budget last meeting, whatever. How many times have you seen White House have to do special meetings to keep the government running? So it's, you know, it's, it's this just smaller scale here, but basically politics is the same all around the world. Thank you and have a happy new year. Thank you. Public comments. Hi, Ashley King, 75 Trail East. Um, first, I want to thank you for the Santa night. That was really nice. The kids loved it. Um, 
I just, I really did appreciate that. I really did love it. Um, also, I did want to address Ms. Kathmeyer being here from the board. Um, I know that it wasn't just her comment about other people. Um, and I've known her most of my life. Uh, she actually was a big part of my life when I was younger uh, through church. Um, so uh, she was mocking me while I was talking. I wasn't even aware she was doing it. I didn't send any emails to complain about it. I didn't do anything like that. I was told about it by multiple people after the meeting. Um, and I didn't, like I said, I didn't complain about it, but I didn't get a call. And I just said, you know, that's what happened. It's going to roll off my back. I don't appreciate it, but it is what it is. Everybody has different things that bother them, or maybe, you know, they're just not in a good mood one day. It doesn't matter. Uh, that's just what I was told. Don't really have any feelings one way or the other about it. Um, just wanted to put a little bit more perspective into it. Um, another thing, uh, I do think that we need to start having the agenda items back on here, like Brian said. I think it's important that we do have these, the information coming to us, because everybody here wants to know what's going on, where we're at with certain things, and even if there is no update, there's no update. Just say, hey, you know, we're still working on this. This is where we ended with it. That's where we are right now with it. We're still waiting on response, whatever it is. Um, I also was, I mean, I, I shouldn't say I was shocked, but I'm a little bit surprised that Mark isn't on any nominations. I mean, I know everybody here doesn't get along the best, but I think that a lot of the community has been calling for unity, and we've been calling for, we want to see everybody work together, because it's not, it's not working right now because you have something nasty to say about this, or whatever it is. It seems like it's just a constant battle between whatever, and it's getting frustrating. Everybody wants to just see things getting done. We want to see you guys working together. We want to see communication between everybody, and we want to see less attacks. And I think that's what everybody's hoping for. And unfortunately, I think that everybody is just kind of at a point where we're just dealing with what we have. Thank you. Thank you. Doris Casera Schumick, 9136 Main Street. And I also agree that um, you should all be working together and not excluding um, certain people that um, um, Mark Evans should be appointed, uh, have a board appointment as well, and be an active participant. It shouldn't be just two trustees. Um, second of all, um, the Core 5 9157 Main Street. Um, that construction entrance, I have asked multiple times for that to be addressed on the agenda, and I have yet to see that. My concern is that the construction entrance um, still has trucks coming in and out. It's 20 feet away from my property and my neighbors, and we have, um, with the daylight ending um, earlier and then having longer night hours, we have a lot of glare and light um, from vehicles, security vehicles, from trucks and so forth going in and out um, of the property or of the um, construction site. And security officers that alternate, they'll stand or they'll park in the construction entrance and just leave their headlights on. So that was kind of my Christmas. It wasn't very fun to be wanting to look outside and see our Christmas lights and instead seeing lights from across the street just shining on our property. I, um, my husband and I and my neighbors did not find that very respectful. As a matter of fact, my, one of my neighbors is a farmer and he had to leave to go take care of uh, the farm and his wife was very concerned about one of the vehicles shining the light across the street and he told her lock up because she felt unsafe. We didn't know who that was. That's all I wanted to express, and I would appreciate this being on the agenda, maybe closing that entrance, prohibiting um, anybody from using that, because we are just 20 feet away, 
when that um, entrance was actually supposed to have a buffer, an earth mound with trees. So we really would appreciate our privacy. The building is there and would really appreciate some help from, from you trustees. Thank you very much. Thank you. Move over to the new business. Can you hear me out there okay? I move to appoint Steve Smith as a zoning commission member of the term commencing January 1st, 2023 to December 31st, 2027. It's a five-year term. Is there a second? Second. Discussion, Mr. Johnson? He is the currently on there. He just, it's a renewal, right? Yes. Okay. So we're really appointing him. Mr. Evans? Yes, I would have thought the more appropriate uh, method would be to have these individuals come in, uh, possibly if we're going to reappoint them, that's fine. Uh, but we should have some discussion with this. Uh, I'm in agreement with uh, Stephen Smith. He was uh, filling in for uh, an individual who resigned after the election. So I, I think giving him a chance, especially since the Zoning Commission has not met hardly at all doing their business. So I think we still need to give him a chance, but I, I don't know why we're not having these people come in. If you look at any other entity, the task club, uh, township, that, that's a proper procedure because we should talk to these individuals as a group, uh, whether we're gonna reappoint them or replace them. Roll call. Mr. Evans? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Ms. McKee? Yes. I move to appoint Sarah Bonet as a Board of Zoning Appeals member for the term commencing January 1st, 2023 to December 31st, 2027. That's a five-year term. Is there a second? Second. Discussion, Mr. Johnson? And this is a reappointment also? Yes, sir. No. Mr. Evans? Uh, yes, again, I think uh, we, we should have had uh, Ms. Benoit come in. Uh, I do have a little bit more concern, not specifically about her appointment, her serving on this, uh, but the makeup of the BZA in general for the numerous variances provided for the building heights because that's one of the issues we're running into in the, at New Corporate Park. It was supposed to be limited to 35 foot buildings. And we wouldn't have these monstrosity uh, distribution centers and that if we would have kept with it. So I believe that we should table this and have her come in. We could do it in an executive session, look at the record, look at uh, her stance on these variances and other matters because this is a very important board. Uh, it's quite a quasi judicial uh, in nature. Uh, I know she's an attorney. She's very uh, accomplished. However, like I said, I think we need to look at making some changes, whether her or the others, uh, with those granting all these variances. And you know, even if it's variances for entrances, that that the impact to our residents are are, are taken into account. So I would move that we we table this because there's no impending meeting or urgency in this matter. So that's my motion to table this. Is there a second? <clears throat> motion die for lack of second. Roll call, Mrs. <coughs> Mr. Evans. No. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Ms. McKee? Yes. So I'll move over to the Township Administrator. I move to advertise for the full-time Township Administrator with me, Ms. McKee, as providing the advertisement. Um, I want to open it up to post it and have it available to February 1st. Um, I want to advertise with uh, OTA, Ohio Township Association, and the cost for that is $20. Um, so is there a second? Second. 
discussion. Mr. Johnson, please. Um, okay, I advertise this just across uh, OTA only, or any yeah, well, show up other places. Yeah, we send it out to other places like um, the Tascala Chamber of Commerce. We can always put it in there as well. Um, so, um, but for sure, the OTA is really. Okay. Yeah, Morphe doesn't allow you to post publish the vehicle. And that goes all the way across to all the township areas in the one yes. state. Yes. Yes. Um, and we, yes, we absolutely have it on our website as well. <coughs> so I think um, to get somebody with a lot of legal background, um, somebody maybe with a uh, Juris Doctrine degree. Um, I know Mr. Evans has constantly talked about our legal bills, so that will actually help along the way. They, so we want to get somebody with some legal, a lot of legal background. Um, so that's, well, I think we should move forward with that and get it done and, um, and advertise for the next four weeks. So okay. you can you can speak now, Mr. Evans. Okay. We we tried this beginning of the year and there was thorough discussion about qualifications, what well, should be more economic de development director with a little bit of admin, we'll call it this, but it's gonna be that. Aren't we gonna have that discussion of what, uh, if it's full-time, part-time, is what are the duties, what are, we're, we're just gonna advertise the, the position? Because even you look at the, the water district, uh, they're uh, advertising for an economic development director, and it's quite a, a lengthy <clears throat> request, and qualifications and what they need to provide and I don't think this is the proper uh, mechanism to just say administrator I, I, I think we should have a, a job description again is it part-time is it full-time because that was it kept going back and forth last time and I would really implore this board to do it right this time because we had numerous individuals pull their application because of the nonsense going on our integrity is at stake and so i think we should have a a discussion about qualifications is it full-time part-time are, full are we are, 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 are we and i'm all for terminating mr bill vance uh his contract work with the township so is that going to be um We're discussing the administrator correct and this is a part of that and then also you're, you're saying that they should focus on legal bills and of my concern with that we have the county prosecutor for free i didn't say focus so on that. I mr key this is my time some legal so point of order this is point a of order. No, it's this no point is, of order i'm just yes, responding we, back to you we discussed one time i didn't ask you a question there's no i will be responding question. back to you Ms. McKee, please robert's rules of order i'm trying to be respectful here Okay, you want to abide by three minutes and one topic. Go ahead, I just I'm responded to Ms. you. Ms. McKee, again. Go ahead, Mr. Evans. So, I believe again, this should be tabled because we need to work out what are the duties, what are, um, what's the uh, job qualifications, what, all that. Instead of we're just gonna put administrator in, in the township, but we shouldn't leave it up to just one trustee, again, to do that. This should be a board action. So that's my motion to table this. Is there a second? So second die, approve motion die for like a second. Mr. Ms. Berry, please. Roll Mr. Call. Evans? No. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Ms. McKee? Yes. Okay, we can move on to the uh, 629 grant, Mr. Evans, that you were discussing earlier. Yes, as I stated, I've been working on since mm -hmm. getting in office uh, these 629 grants. This is where the, it's an economic incentive to developers, and these were already approved and, and given to them. Uh, they're granted through the state. Uh, we agree to pay back the developer these 
these funds, uh, but we're, we're uh, reimbursed from the state. So this amount, it's a million dollars. Uh, it had an expiration of 12 31 22. Uh, again, called for a special meeting, didn't hear anything back. I talked to Essence Vaughn at the uh, state, uh, state ODOT department there, and she agreed to hold the funds, otherwise, it would be released and we would be on the hook for them. So their legal uh, went through, got this. Uh, amendment, the first amendment, just like we did for Global Parkway where we actually had two amendments because there were so many delays. Uh, so this just extends the date to December 31st, 2023. Uh, there was an option for six months or 12 months. I chose 12 because why not? Uh, hopefully, uh, working with Jay Fisher, we can get this completed sooner. I've done quite a bit in getting the petition signed and that. Uh, for the Schuster Way uh, 629 grant. Uh, and then again, also, uh, there are annual reports that are due in March at a $500 fine each, uh, if not filed. Luckily, I found out within a week this past year and got those submitted. So I move to allow um, myself, Trustee Evans, to sign this amendment uh, with the uh, ODOT uh, Department of Development, extending the 6.9 uh, grant for control number SBIG 201906788A, uh, and also authorized in, uh, myself, Trustee Evans, for filing the annual returns for the um, outstanding 6.29 and um, uh, the o ODOT uh, grant. President McKee, whenever appropriate. Uh, uh, just I'll second. I'll second. I'll second for discussion. Discussion. Where would these executed agreements be, copies of these executed agreements be kept? How would we access copies of the, those agreements as have all the trustees read through these agreements to no we have not um if somebody wanted to read through an executed copy where would they find it i guess is my question well, we should have a copy as a township and that's why i say our records are just a bit. so we don't have working copies of these but i i have copies of these i can provide uh, you, Mr. Vance, if you want to start communication, uh, I'm happy to do so. Um, all you have to do is ask, but I'll, I'll provide you a copy of this. But again, this is uh, what's required. And uh, Jennifer Huber of Brocious and Griggs uh, attempted to communicate with the department here but as I informed her, there was no authority because their contract ended on December 31st. So she couldn't intervene, That's not true. but it is. The resolution was only for 2022. Yes. So, but this is a simple extension. So, and as someone that's been working, Mr. Vance, trying to pull all the economic stuff together, these are things that have been being worked on throughout this entire year. So not to be aware of this, this is a little shocking. Let me, let me make my discussion now. This is nothing different. We, in the last five, six years, have approved our budget January 3rd. There's nothing different. All of a sudden, you're trying to make it to be something different. Okay, you could have worked with her. I'm very familiar with That's why I asked you in the beginning of the meeting as you spoke to them. Okay, so you could have worked with her. Yes, they're not. They, hey, they represent us. They they know they'll get paid, so they're not worried about that. You shut the you you stop the conversation with them because of what you just said, which is not true. But ne neither here or there. We'll move on. Resolution so, is only yes, for 2022 this is, this is, um, for legal services. Um, 
Mark said that the files were here. If that's something that Trustee Carlisle and Walter Rogers should have had, they could be in the fiscal office. If Ms. Barron gives me permission, I don't mind looking for them. But I wasn't aware of any of those copies. If Mark's been working on it, I've not been given any copies of Julie's right. files. But, okay. um, if they were something that was done by the previous board, they could be in Walter's files. Okay. My, my, my thing is, these are ongoing issues. We don't have master calendars of dates of, of when things expire. And why don't we have working files for these? I just I don't, explained, Mr. Evans, if there was working files by the previous board, they might be in Walter Rogers' office. They got turned over to Julie. Ms. Brown, we need them accessible to the trustees. You can make one copy and say, Ms. Varian, here's for the records. Here's for our working files. Mr. Evans, I wasn't a party at the 629 grants. Trustee Carlisle was. And like I just said, I don't have a problem trying to find them with permission to be in her office. I'm trying to help her. So, so may I ask, where is this contract? Do you have a copy of it? Yes. Do you have it now? No, I don't, I don't carry papers with me. I've got electronically. OK. So, I admit this. I mean, they, they could be locked away in that office with all, everything else. They're not over those the are, office. Those are, those are old records. But um, I guess I'm looking, because you, I mean, this is a piece of paper that anybody could just typed up. So I really don't, I mean, I understand that you're doing this, but I don't know, I don't know where it says in the agreement that it expires for how it expired. Can you explain why we let it? Yeah, the point the end part. date listed in table, in, in the table on page one of the agreement is deleted and replaced with the following end date 12-31-2023. Do you think I'm making this up in, with the whole thought of it's not needed or I, I don't understand this word. I know, I have to take your word for it. That's the thing. I have to trust your word that you're on this thing. Nothing else but this piece of paper. So seriously. Mm -hmm. And I remember I seconded this. I seconded to get on the agenda. So I'm interested in what you have to present. So. President McKee, whenever appropriate. Yes, please. Uh, I would just recommend as your consultant that if one trustee is going to uh, seek your trust, your professional trust, to work on your behalf, it would probably be a good idea to verify the contents of the agreement itself to verify the activities that they are going to be going forward with mm -hmm. on your behalf. Okay, I would like to state that is rich for a consultant and other trustees that actively keep information from the, another board member and direct the secretary to not provide information that we're going to discuss here prior to the meeting. She stated that you two directed her not to. Sir, you this did not is not about tr trust. Sir, you did not provide the information. Well, you are you are accusing them of acting just like you were acting this evening. You look at the email. I said asking for a special saying that we need a special meeting. Did you no attach, response? Did you attach no the agreement to response. it? No response. I just got it today from them when their legal went through it. They. That's all I have. Thank you. And, and we're we're in the residents are supposed to trust you, who is are not transparent with reports with emails, with records requests, no records exist. Come on. I've tried to come into this with a different attitude to work together. It's not working. Obviously on your end, just like Ms. McKee told the resident, stop trying to get us to work together. It's one side. Again, to move forward, Mr. Johnson, if you want to do something, you've been here almost 16 years. You, you don't know anything about this. Why? I done more I, when I tried in my limited with this, time when I was trying to get involved with this you stopped it. called me told me that it was your or email or whatever I don't know what I got on it but you were, I was told that stay off of it I'm on it I take care of it and I was like all right I was fine with that that, that was why no. I don't know a lot about it because you were doing it so I trusted in you to do it that particular time and this is thrown on my table to this for the meeting and if you're saying it's a million dollars. And, and what, what's okay. thrown on my meeting table right before the meeting? Same thing the I secretary did. is directed to withhold it. I didn't withhold anything. I just got it. 
but you have the other part of this, right? The agreement. I, if you listen, if, if you would read your emails, you would have seen my discussion about special meeting for this topic. Did you read those? That particular one, I don't believe I did. I saw that you wanted it. Multiple. I'm sorry for my behavior, but this is ridiculous. A million dollars is at stake here. Well, so they we granted don't... us a special exemption after the 31st. They need this immediately back. So are we going to call another special meeting tomorrow? You need 24 hours, we can do 8 p.m. Well, well, I got a special meeting coming up on the 10th for the I can't uh, make it. parliamentary uh, training. So if you want to do it on the 10th, you're more than welcome. I already said I can't, can't make that date. Oh, you can't? Okay. That's what I told you before. Okay. No, you said you, didn't. you voted against it. We had no, several no, no. dates, but no. you voted against it. You guys picked the time. We, we had several dates, and you... No. And you Again, you didn't want to share the information prior. Can we please address this? A million dollars that we'll be on the hook for. We have it in the budget. This is the why only, waste it? This is the only thing is that you've changed the date to 1231. That the is only the thing. That's the only change. That's the agreement. And this is the same agreement as Global Parkway Part 1, the first and second one that you guys had no problem with. and reports need to be filed. Again, I caught it last year when we had zero transition from the last four. Luckily, we didn't get fined. I took care of it. I'm trying to take care of this because this would have slipped. And even our legal team does not even respond to me anymore. That's not true. That is true. Called so, him today. You told him you didn't have the money to pay him. So, yeah, they, they talked to you about this. That, that was an email that I responded to her saying she doesn't have the authority. You, 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 you said we didn't have the funds to talk to him because our budget wasn't necessary. Because resolutions matter. Rule of law. You didn't want to talk to the legal team. Well, my motion's on the table. And it's been second. It's so, okay. roll. Discussion. see exactly what that motion was. She got there still. The, the motion was to allow me to sign this extension for the 629 grant, and I read the numbers, and that this is a recap, not a new motion, and to file the annual reports required in March for this and the other outstanding grants that are required. As I did last year. To sign or just for them just the reports? This is for signing this and, sign the, it and the reports are entered online. Again, there was no transition, so I had to get access into it through the state because John Carlisle was the, and he provided zero transition. And I handled it. And we're good. And working with Fred Vogel, you're very familiar with. You contacted a few times, saying everything goes through you. I'm trying to get this done. Does it matter whose name on the back of it? If you want to put your name on it, put I, your I name on it. I'm, I'm just, just trying to get this matter. done. Does everything have to be no. you two? No. Jeff, I think John Singleton has a recognition on that. That's what I'm He has something on it? I think it's in the Jeff Forbes. Again, I. I have the email if our IT department would respond to me, only two weeks are allowed on the phone. They're, I can't go past two weeks on my business. I can go back to 2016. That would be good because I could have pulled it up right now and sent it to you. 
That's another issue. That they will not talk to me because only we keep. John digging it up right now. I don't know if he's coming in with it. I don't know what your question was, but I, I came back in. Oh, because I wanted to know what the exact motion was. It's been so long. Oh, I, I didn't write it down. Okay. This is the original bill. I have I can make it as costly as it came up. Thank you, John. Right, Mr. Johnson, you were here during the course. Yes. Yeah. As I said, when the other reports were due, nothing was said. We still don't have this on a master calendar showing when things are expired and when we have to take action. We let our sheriff's contract expire. No, we didn't. It expired 1231. And we still have coverage, so go. Put that out there. Okay, we still have full coverage. Okay, so okay, just like the insurance. We can't delay, delay, delay. Just your signatures on that. Discussions be public? No, that was just asking something about something on the screen. Do you guys want to have this before? Yes, yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Yeah, we just have more discussion. Let's do it. That seems to be in order. That's what I was looking for. Okay. The dates check out. Okay, great. More. Great. So we want to, you have the motion, we have discussion. Now let's go ahead and call. What question, Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Ms. McKee? Yes. My board. Okay, we're going to move over into the old business. Um, we can county share if I uh, move the resolution 2301-0301 to enter into written contract with the Lincoln County Sheriff for provision of police services for and within Aetna Township per contract attached. Is there a second? Second. Discussion, Mr. Johnson? Uh, is this, this contract is the same one we had before? Yes, sir. With the additional four? Yes, they have that one. They have a total of four officers. Yes. Two additional vehicles. Two yes. additional vehicles. And do they have a timeline when we get our extra officers? That's a good there? question. Okay. They just stay new too. I mean, it's <coughs> trying to recruit, but it's pretty tough. Mm -hmm. All right. Pretty tough. Mr. Evans, you have. 
Yes, I do. I, again, the contract that we had with the Sheriff's Department expired 1231. So we have a lapse in the contract. We need to start addressing these items before they expire. They, we, this should have been dealt with last month, at minimum, or even much sooner. Um, we can't keep doing this for everything. I mean, I see we have a deputy here today. Technically, we don't have appropriations. We can't pay for his services. We don't even have a contract. We got to start doing things properly. And that's why we needed new leadership on the board to do this properly, be transparent, provide updates. Um, and just to, as discussion, we have the two new vehicle equipped uh, vehicles at 138,000, but we're going to be due to replace the old ones soon, soon too. So let's told they have about three year service life and that's kind of where, where they're at right now. So we got to keep that in mind. My discussion. I um, just want to be clear that this went to the prosecutor's office, the contract we have been working on since September, and until they was able to get it to us, which um, the prosecutor got it to us on Friday, which was his day off, vacation day, but he still worked and got it to us. So this is why we're just getting it today. But it went back and forth from the lieutenant over at the Lincoln County Sheriff back to the prosecutor. So they were trying to work out a few things, so they did. So here we are tonight, so I'm so glad that we were able to get it. And we were fully covered um, um, throughout, even though the, the uh, contract ended on the 31st of December, we are still fully covered as a Spokane Township. Under general so coverage, yes. Keep that clear to everyone so nobody has to panic. Okay, so call, call for the question, Ms. Mary. Mr. Evans? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Ms. McKee? Yes. Okay, um, I received an email from Ms. Uh, Fitzsimmons. She's over at Crow Licking County. We, were, we had discussed in a previous meeting um, that we would change our contract with them instead of giving a 90-day notice, that we would do a 30-day. We decided to end the contract with Crow Licking County. She uh, informed me this evening um, that she has to take it to her board, so I'm gonna table that until she takes it to her board on the 9th, and then we'll have it back on the next agenda. So I'll move on from that. Well, why don't why don't we just address it now and then let them because deal with it? Because we want to see how they're going to address it from their end first. See they, they are. This is they. She provided the updates that the board wanted. They just have to approve it. So again, why would we delay? And my one question on this is: When will this agreement? take effect now that we're paying 15,000 because the board voted I mean the board voted on November 15th to give them a 90-day notice that we're in in that contract right. so it'll be February 15th which is Coming where we're control. already paid for right we are but so what are we are we doing it now or are we yes we are every, because the new year so we're gonna double pay no no we have to make a decision like I said, we have to wait. We've already paid till February 15th. And we're or paying, actually we're asking, till March 1st. Right. We're not asking for payment. We're not doing that. We're just wanting her to change the contract to say a 30-day notice versus a 90-day. You it's terminated still the contract. the contract. No, we did not. We, she's just going to change it so it's up to her board to see if they'll do it. If they don't do it, then it's up to us as a board to decide if we want to move forward with them. And if so, then we'll pay it on the next when it comes around again. On March 15th, the board voted to provide the 90-day notice to terminate the contract. So the contract is terminated February 15th. You didn't ask for the change for 30 days. Again. We terminated it. So I would advise us not to double pay. We're not double paying. To pay. start it on February 15th. We're not double paying. We won't be double paying, Mr. Evans. Again, on January 9th, when she has her meeting, to find out if she can change the contract, first of all. That's the whole thing. If she can't change it, then we have a decision. Do we want to continue or do we not? Then if we don't, then we give them, we give them 90 days and we're done with them. Or 30 days and then we're done with them. We already gave the 90 days. So. Yep. Yep. Okay. 
move on. Okay, let's move on to um, resolution. Um, I guess we'll just move over to uh, old business to discuss the um, budget. So I can turn it over to Ms. Barry. Uh, have you seen have you had a chance to look through it and decide what revisions you wanted to make? I don't yes. have much the last time. The one that we got last meeting, I still have it, and I was able to look through it. Actually, can we talk about this chair? Were you asking if this was for both deputies, Jeff? I was asking for the additional two, if it this, was on there. These numbers are for one deputy, just so you know. For yeah. two vehicles. And two vehicles. Yes. Yeah. It does for each. Yeah. Yeah. I do recognize. Thank you. <coughs> Four total. When they come up. Come yeah. Over. yeah. Okay. And then we'll have to have expenses for the approval. And I don't, yeah, if they would come aboard soon, I don't know if there's enough money in there at this time on the budget when I looked over it. But yeah, but I ran out of the 60 on the budget, and I was just wondering about that. Yeah. You're correct. That's what I was wondering about it. But we can get we get the money. Who knows? We might not see additional deputies for a couple months through, which would make it work out. Um, has everybody had a chance to talk to Ms. Barry about the budget and go over the budget with her? I did have a question though, but kind of arose the name off of this thing. The, the capital outlay line 4901 capital projects for the 629 programs. It just shows a, a total. This is on the last page. Yeah. It just says a total down there. Um, but no, the other one's in there. Should there be those numbers the, in there? Is that those are the old ones that are that just are there for just for bookkeeping purposes that they help as account numbers. Um, I think we we talked about this the last time, and I canceled in one point three million. Because there's, there's one million three hundred thousand, and then there's another hundred thousand, so I think it should be one point. That she's our fiscal officer. Well, so the cubes, the cubes are what we just that we just. Right. This is just through. a placeholder for what any capital projects okay. that might come up. It's not or that he is applying for. It's I just wondered what that if you had to make the other ones because some of these are off here, but that's. Those are just like well, I'll add them as they come. Okay. Sorry, I'm fine with that. I just you know if could you just put it in for totaling purposes? Yeah. Or what you thought? So that, okay. So that would be changed. And just for clarification, you've had to kind of modify what was done before and try to properly put it in the UAM and stuff, right? Things were on spreadsheets, things were on from right. Do we get final numbers from the JED this year to the JED's money then? I can when I have everything right now. Okay, we don't have those numbers yet. But they're close. They're close to what we have in here. Ms. McKee's the liaison. Do you have that information, Ms. McKee? I'm sorry. You're the liaison for the JED's and JED's and not the boards. Yeah, we do you have that information? Julie, uh, there should have been, you'll get an email from um, Reynoldsburg. Mm -hmm. um, I'll make sure I'll talk to Lori tomorrow mm -hmm. to make sure you get those numbers so you can plug them in tomorrow. Okay. okay. She usually CCs you on the. I thought we Yeah, thought she Well, they're not going to close the books on yeah. quarter four so with the days of the month. Um, yeah, because she, she usually CCs you on that stuff and you should have gotten it. But I'll go back and make sure that. That's what I thought. Yeah, and she sent me like legal things too. We, I need more clarification on if we're going to separate, if we're going to keep paying legal bills for the debts. I want to separate them out as account numbers so that we can easily track which debt costs how much for legal or yeah. accounting or whatever it is. So, are we still? I know there were the contracts were out there, but are we still going to be paying the bills for 2023 for the debt stuff? Probably in the beginning, but hopefully maybe in the future soon we can squash, you know, we need to hopefully. That's our. And regarding the Jet, jet Z revenue, Ms. Barry and I had a work session uh, over the budget, and what we used is the 
fourth quarter of the prior year because those are actually they actually came in last year. So we'll get and just to, and some that were kind of going up. Uh, Gen Z two with Amazon is going down. So where it's conservative, we're conservative. Where uh, there was increases, we kind of went with that because some Gen Z seven was dollars in the first couple quarters that was FedEx. And now it's kind of ramping up a little bit. All right. We pretty much I went low on income and higher on expenses to be right. safe. And, and the budget you present, you is there a temporary budget? Not at all it, because they don't. It's not be balanced temporary? at all. Yeah. Well, it's not supposed to because we're supposed to have an excess for here. Yeah. But usually they. But I mean, okay. so. this can be a temporary. I think Laura has both the resolutions for that, so we could do a temporary to get us to the end of March. That's all. That's the length of time since we do a temporary, and only ordinary expenses can be. Right, and we have enough money now to do those things, correct? Yeah, we have enough money to do this, but we need to pass something so that I can keep the payments going. But would ordinary expenses be our consultants or no? Yeah. Is it? But ordinary would not include a new township administrator. And that's why we will, well, we should pass a Permanent this yeah. since it's not. Either way, yeah. we're going to amend it either way. Yeah, yeah we got to March so so Whether we're amending to a permanent or to, you know, temporary. And, and, and make a correction that you, you can't just amend until March. You amend throughout the year. A budget should be. I'm saying as far as it's getting a certificate from the county. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Well, yeah. I think we. The other thing that we were talking about last time was um, parks. We were going to, well, I think we just kind of left it in the air as to what we were doing it for capital improvements at the parks, or for the new park. I, I would say, I mean, the NCA was created to help fund that. I know right now, the legal fees are just eating all the, all that money up, and I don't think we're even going to collect for this year. Um, so we might have to expend our own funds with that because there's no movement on the NCA. And I think legal bills are over 160,000, which I think is kind of projected amounts for a collection one year, 190, something like that. So it might be a while before we see any funds from that. Yeah, I kind of thought that the capital outlay program, which is item 760, and then there's improvement of sites. I thought that was money you put in for some of the park yeah. work, correct? Right? It was kind of in last year. Yeah. Okay. But can last we can use it for that, though. Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. I mean, we can take it out. Right. We, we don't have to use it just because it's there. Right. It. it still needs approval by the board. Yes. Okay, so um, are we going to try to approve a permanent appropriation or are we going with the temporary tonight? I'll make a motion that we approve this budget as a temporary budget um, as presented. Can you do this well, as temporary? So because I thought it's only ordinary for temporary. If we do a temporary, I can only do ordinary expenses. So it can't be just so like utilities and payroll for that kind of stuff. So you wouldn't be able to put the administrator on. I wouldn't. That's okay. not ordinary. But if if we pass something, a, a permanent one in February, then it would be permanent for us in the It was technically we have until the end of March. So right. a temporary would be a, a good move? Is that a what temper it? Well, a temporary would get the money so that I can pay the bills again. But it will. But it's, it's only good until March 30th. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we don't want to be limited. limited. So maybe we should try to go ahead and get a permanent. If we do a permanent, we can adjust it every yeah. day. Yeah. Like. Okay. And nothing is set in yeah. stone yeah. because there still has to be purchase orders. There still has to be signatures. Okay. There's still control. So let's. let's All right. Um, well, I'll make the motion that we. The motion is going to. So what's Laura's thing here? <laughs> 
No, I got it here somewhere. But my question is, if you're doing a permanent, are you doing it the way she printed out? Or are you no, I have some. I still have some items that I want to address. Okay. Oh, Laura, that's we're, that's we're addressing that. this. Thank you for interjecting. I, 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 she called on me, Mark. Resolution Gag. Wait. Are we going to change this before we pass it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, he was getting ready to make the motion. That's all. Sure. Yeah. We need to. I need to change some stuff in in this okay. that I said okay. that needs to be changed. Well, I think we need to discuss the changes. Well, I said I. Do I keep discussing? Are you going to make a motion about that? I can keep discussing. Well, we could pass it as is and amend it later. Well, we're not going to pass it as is exactly. My mind, so that's what I'm saying. We can discuss it now, or I can make a motion and or a resolution. That so, are we in discussion now? As a board, we're in a discussion. So, I'll second the discussion. Well, I didn't actually yeah, make, 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 make them. Okay. okay. Currently, we're having a workshop. Yeah, workshop. There we go. But it's not considered a workshop. I, I have. So if we need a, if we need a permanent appropriation for fiscal year 2023. I have three line items that I'd like to remove out of this. So if I make my... Well, can we just discuss it? Okay, I'm fine with that. We'll discuss it first. But first thing is the first line, not just line with lines for you, it's line 1,000, 110, 121, 001. If you say what it is, it's probably easier. This is the salaries for the fiscal officer assistant. Next one is 1,000, 110, 410, 001, fiscal office, fiscal office, office supplies. And 1,000, 110, 410, 002. Fiscal office assistance office supplies. And the reason I want those out is for one, the office supply situation, Laura buys the office supplies. Um, I know you've talked about a new computer, Julie. Um, it comes around for that, we can discuss that exactly. Um, but now it's the other supplies that you have to get that you didn't go through our secretary to, to order for you. I mean, to order for you, I'm sorry. I mean, what? I don't know what office supplies you needed. There was a new line that was added. Like file folders, postage stamps, the bar doesn't have to be a file there. Well, let her, she's a I fiscal officer, so not you. Yeah. You're a trustee. Go ahead. I, mean, I, didn't, I, mean, I, I don't mind giving you some money for that, but I didn't know why you, you should lose Laura to do that kind of stuff for you. That's what I don't need stuff very often, and I'm often just in here and ask her for things. So right. I get that, but there's some things like, like I know I have to buy the 1099. Send the vendor payments to send the tax forms to the vendors because the ones that we got aren't correct. So that's just a quick trip to the store for me to buy a packet of 1099s to send out to vendors. That, that would be under your that would be under office, 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 office supplies. supplies. But no, just, fiscal office office yeah. supplies, right, Julie? Mm -hmm. yes. That's three thousand dollars. It's kind of like half of one, half of a dozen of the other. And the three thousand I had there for the computer type stuff. That's what that okay. was for. All right. And then, under, and then you have a, a fiscal officer office supplies, which is $5,000? That's the correct? Assistant office supplies. Yeah. But yeah, that would have been another computer kind of thing. Okay. But the office supplies itself, which is fourteen zero 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 seven thousand. that's that's what we've all, that's what we ran under before. Yeah. And you would get it out of the floors. I think, yeah. Okay. So has that worked for you in the past? So we, that's how we've done it before. Or not. Is it not it, working? Yes, that's or? how we done it. But okay. I just, there can be line items, and I was separating it out for clarity and transparency. And can I interject a legal thing here? Ms. Varian, according to Ohio Revised Code, the budget requires a budget for your office, separate. So the Ohio Revised Code requires a separate budget for her office and just standard counting practices, you segregate expenses for tracking and everything, but Ohio Revised Code requires it. Mr. Evans, we have never been 
through, as when we have been audited, there's never been a problem. Our so, audits are red flagged all Again, it's never been a problem. Just because so it's done wrong it clear, doesn't mean to keep doing it wrong. Well, I've talked to the, them, and that's a fact. So you, you, that's not true. Well, we'll that's we'll, not true. We'll address you this. You let her be her fiscal officer and do her job, and you. you I will support her fiscal job. officer, and this will be addressed at the prosecutor's meeting on the 19th that's fine. that I requested to deal with all these issues. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's great. Let's. That's great. But again, again, I'm well, asking I will to amend that's zero fine. zero zero four ten zero zero one. Yeah, one and two. So if we're going to do that, then that's just and worry so about that. Get a get a legal ruling from our prosecutor when we ask that question, and then we'll no, come back to the so they, don't, they don't have anything to do with our budget. We do our own budget. We have to follow Ohio no, revised code. Well, yeah, we do. Have you, yes, we do. We and do if you read it, we do have to. It all. states the fiscal Mr. officer Evans. is required to have a separate. Mr. Evans. Budget. <coughs> we, again, it's plain I language. Let you know, be clear. I spoke to the auditor's <coughs> office about this budget, so I'm I'm very comfortable with the way we we do okay. this. Barry has done it. Well, but I'm comfortable I, with removing it as well because we cor do correct. That. put and it underneath one umbrella, which is office supply that's been right. that way for, for control. It's never been for no control. control. Have you ever had but a please, no, control? But please, let, 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 let me discuss one other item. That okay. this, this board does not want to support our fiscal officer. Her right to a fiscal assistant is in Ohio Revised Code. Okay? And you didn't want to support her previously. You don't want to support her now. I mean, I, I don't understand where you got to hire a consultant as a personal assistant, yet we can't support our fiscal officer. And again, this is her right under Ohio Revised Code. There's been legal cases. And the, Ms. McKee, so again, you don't want to support our fiscal officer. Why? That you, you'll spend hundreds of thousands on legal fees that we don't when we have a free prosecutor, yet you won't support our fiscal officer. So I, I'm against this. Ms. Berry requested it. I know you said, nope, you're not going to get it. But that's not right. That's a separate office. All right. The next line item I have that I wanted to you know, Discuss is 1000 110 What is that? That's a salary for the fiscal officer system. That's the other one because I didn't mention that yet, which Mark brought up now. Um, I don't think it's a matter of not supporting our fiscal officer. I think it's a matter of the need, and in almost all exceptions, the only times they have an assistant is when they either have a fire department or a police department or a very big public works department that justifies having a fiscal officer keep separate separate accounts. So that's why I don't think we need that here. That's not true in, in the research I've done. Uh, I've been it, told that by several. It, it, you've been told that, but have you seen it? I've actually got the budgets for the other entities that they're comparable Do they have to this. That, no, they don't. They're ten million dollar budgets. They're we're not talking about a Violet Township that they have multiple assistants. So again, Miss McKee needs a personal assistant and Mrs. Vance and Mr. Vance, yet we can't afford her the resources that she needs. This isn't a full time position. This isn't I mean she puts in a lot of hours. And there's a lot of things done. And to think that the last fiscal officer did it right, no. Even that certificate of transition, he falsified it. You signed that falsification. No. Things were done wrong. We need to start doing it right. Julie's doing it, and we need to support her. She is legally entitled to ask for it. The only thing we have the discretion on is to approve it or not, but it's got to be reasonable. And to just leave it out of the budget is not not appropriate. Okay. So put it in there, and we can deal with it later. But to keep it out, 
I, if you're not going to get murder and assistant, Ms. McKee, give up yours. Was that a motion or a discussion? Discussion. Okay. It was all just denied. Okay. Let's just call for the question. Nobody made a motion. Oh, well. Nobody's made a motion. I'll make all. a motion to uh, amend the amend the uh, permanent appropriation as we just as Mr. Uh, Johnson just presented. Is there a second? I'll second one. I want to clarify. The ones I want to remove. So you want any discussion? Okay. Yes. All right. Clarify. It's one zero 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 one one zero one two one zero zero one. Can you say the titles of that? That would be salaries for fiscal office assistant. Okay. Item one thousand one ten four ten zero 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 one. Fiscal officer office supplies. Item 1110410002, fiscal office assistant office supplies. So you just was clarifying that? Yes, those okay. three items are moved. I'm, I think I'm all right with this budget. Okay. Yes. Um, I believe you can clarify with Julie, but if you're doing a permanent, I think you need to pass one of those resolutions. Yeah. She can tell you which one she wants. Okay. Because you gave her, yeah. We had one from Dr. Trowell, and then one of them was from the previous board. So okay. I just clarified and showed it to her again. But you guys, to do a permit, I think you need to do it by resolution and then have right. her, um, her appropriations as an attachment. Modified. So we need to modify the whole thing? Is that what you're saying? Are we need to make a if motion you're for it? I believe you can ask Julie. I believe Brian Control told her to do it by a resolution. If you're doing temporary, you can do that by a motion. They all have a copy of it. But we'll just use that one as the offside that one. Well. But then you have to say you're amending what she gave you as an attachment. I uh, move resolution 230103. Is that a resolution? Yeah. Okay. 02 to adopt amended permanent appropriation for fiscal year 2023. Resolution permanent appropriation for fiscal 2023. Um, so is there a second? First of all, I'm going to remove my second from the last motion. I don't think you can do that for Robert's rules. You can't do it? Well, he's basically letting her know she had already made a motion on the floor. So, so remove that. You guys no technically fact. need to make remove the motion and pass it as a resolution. We'll make remove that problem. motion and you're going to pass it as a resolution. Because that's what yeah. the yeah, is going to need. Right. So I move the resolution 2301 02 to adapt as amended, adopt as amended permanent appropriation for year, fiscal year 2023. Can you go to clarify those, yes, those I did. line items? Mm -hmm. Those three line items. Right. I'll second three items. Clarification of three items I mentioned earlier, removed. Discussion? Yes, again, what you're proposing violates Ohio Revised Code regarding the fiscal office's separate budget. Call for the question. Mr. Evans? No. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Ms. McKee? Yes. I mean, you can make a little 
or you can make a copy of the budget and highlight so it. Julie will have to fix it when you get those three lines on it. And then she would attach it. <coughs> All right. That's Julie's we, We're also changing the contract and services for the, the 629 grant program. Capital projects 1.4 million, correct? Change it? Didn't that. No, we didn't address that. We just said that. He, yeah. Mark said that's what we should change. So, so we didn't. So we can change that later. But I had 1.3 million penciled in from last time when we talked about it. But what do you want? 1.3 or 1 million thousand? We just passed it as well. I, I didn't say anything. <coughs> part of it. I mean, I'm we'll, just asking. We'll, we'll, we we discussed it. We agreed it to it. So we're we're working on that that we. Discussed. Okay, so it wasn't so part of your motion, so we have to amend it probably. Yeah, we can do that. What that yeah, that can 629 that wasn't part of your motion. Yeah, so we can do it later if you want. We'll do it later. So leave it at one later. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. We're going to have to play this a little bit anyway, so. But this list you can pay bills. bills tonight so I don't have to do a, a purchase order so we can just wait till the next meeting on that unless you want to yeah, you have something for us Julie you think no well we'll the next time I honestly think we should have a special meeting just to sign purchase orders okay so is, I got a special meeting coming up in the 10th we'll do it on that yeah. night is that okay all right yeah. thank you And then we, so we don't payment of uh, bills either, so we can not even worry about ratif uh, ratifying the payment. Um, so, okay. We're not going to pay anything till the 10th? Yeah. Yeah, that's a special meeting. So she says she can. Exactly. Can we make it? So we can decide outside of the meeting where you want. We don't have anything ready. Okay. Okay. Right. 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 No, I think that's it. That's pretty critical for me. And payroll. Health insurance would be fine. Uh, Mr. Uh, Frank made that clear. We're good until the end of February. Okay, Frank. Uh, so, so, yeah, we have insurance. Don't worry about that. The payroll and the um, is a direct thing, but then I have to pay the taxes on that, which, you know, the dates just to say change. Now, the, the health insurance is automatically deducted, correct? And Mr. Harmon made it clear that everything's fine. You don't have to worry about it. Right. But I would just like to point out the reason it's automatically deducted is because it prior to wasn't being paid. And this is what our fiscal officer's trying to get us out of. It was being paid. Nobody's been without insurance. That's why they our required the automatic deduction. Fine. And Mr. Frank, I talked to him, Mr. Harmon, and we've always paid it on January 3rd. He's, he's been working with this township for many years and he made it clear. Let's just leave it and we can um, sign payroll the 10th, the evening of the 10th, and it'll direct deposit into their accounts on the 11th. So I'll have to repair it before you sign it. But. Okay. Thank you, Jewel. Mm -hmm. um, what time is that meeting on the 10th? 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Who is the individual presenting? You never provided his contact information. All right. Um, is there any um, any other comments as far as the trustee, Mr. John? Do you have any comments? No. Mr. Evans. Yes, I do. Uh, a couple. Just to clarify, I, I stand with Judy Kapmeyer. She's a valuable resident in our community that stepped up to serve the. Land Use Committee. Uh, I still find it abhorred that she was removed. Mr. Leonard's uh, services are subpar. We got the free postcard from the waste company that would have been sent out. And this is the, this, this is this this is my time, Miss King. This is my time. And if you compare the two. Even the design, even who's going to throw what away, it, we could do better. Uh, the future of our township deserves it. 
But again, to remove Mrs. Capmeyer, uh, as I've been removed from everything in this township, <laughs> it is just shocking. And I, I really hoped for a new beginning. I, I hoped after that last election that we'd be on the right path. But to everybody that says work with them, they refuse. Ms. McKee's even stated to residents, stop trying to get us to work together. I'm willing to, they're not. And today's meeting shows uh, it perfectly. And uh, Doris, uh, she's left here uh, regarding mink and the light trespass and all that. I can't get our zoning inspector to address anything or even communicate with me. Um, and that's why I thought Mr. Johnson should not be over that office. Um, it's, we need to start serving the residents. There's discrepancies in the attorney bills. Six ninety-five an hour, I think it is, or six fifty an hour, when that amount wasn't approved. We're not addressing that. This board still refuses to make trouble disclose the fees they're charging, tacking on the residents' gas and electric. Why are you protecting them? They're, they have a contracted amount, and the only reason, in my opinion, to not proof what they've been getting is if they've been getting more so that that's wrong uh, and we should have been dealing with the vision insurance the prosecutor stated that that was an increase in benefits and we could not take them no action was done so we now have improper benefits that we shouldn't be getting and Ms. McKee refuses to address this as well as Mr. Johnson Follow the rules, follow the law, do what's right for the residents. Um, I just want to make a, a discussion in regards to uh, January 10th, 6 o'clock. We're doing a parliamentary training class. Everyone's welcome. It's a special meeting, and now we also will have on the uh, fiscal, some information from the fiscal officer as well if we need to um, make some changes as well. As far as the uh, 629, we can fix that on that meeting if we have to. But um, other than that, um, I think that's pretty much it as far as um, discussion. Um, do we have anything else to present to the public? But yeah, January 10th, 6 o'clock, all is welcome. Please come. Uh, we'll do a mock uh, training. Uh, the parliamentary will be here. He's a very experienced um, professor and he'll be able to uh, do a mock training and then he is willing to come back to a regular meeting to help us in a regular meeting as well. So I'm excited about it because I know uh, a lot of residents have asked about it um, and I'm willing to do whatever I have to do to try to make things better in our meetings. So I appreciate it. If anybody would like to come out, come. It's free. It's no charge. And the NCA checks, will they be full as you think? I talked to the okay. so HMA check. Okay. The HMA check. Okay. If you're going to the OTA, you need to pay for it yourself, not your university. That's fine. Uh, actually, no, I talked to Mr. Uh, Mark Van Buren, and he said, if we don't have a check come this Saturday at the 7th, he said, don't worry about your pay next week or a week after. He's good with that. And then the, the yearly HSA payments will happen with this payroll as well. The 2700 that gets deposited for the HSA mm -hmm. accounts. Just so okay. Right okay. And are you doing that individually for those that aren't yeah. with Park Bay? Okay. Appreciate that. So is everybody with Park Bay, but you? Uh, I'm not. Okay. Okay. Chemo. Okay, well, I think um, that's all I have for tonight. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Roll call. And a second. 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 I'll second it. Roll call. Mr. Evans. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Mr. Keith. Yes.